just for the record, this is uh, going to be the shortest speech of the night, not, not up there. <laughs> not that one. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to say uh, congratulations to the other inductees. You know, it's a big honor and uh, it's a pleasure to be in this class with you guys. Um, you know, through this journey, it's been, it's been great. Uh, a lot of teammates that I developed relationships with and, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, is this, uh, this University of Miami football fraternity, is it, is it for real is it, or is it just something that, you know, they say on TV? And, you know, I, I can sit here and say today that, you know, it's real. I mean, you look at guys like Santana and Reggie, I couldn't pick two better guys to be in this class with. We came in together in 1997 and, uh, you know, we're still friends to this day. You know, I, I haven't seen Reggie and Santana in a little bit, but it feels like we just left in 2000, and you know we're just picking up, you know, where we left off. So, you know, and by the way, it's a pleasure to be in with you guys, and obviously the rest of you guys too. Uh, you know, obviously uh, the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank you for uh, nominating me and uh, inducting me into the Hall of Fame. It's an honor uh, to be inducted with the great players. Uh, you go down the list from the Warren Saps that are Ray Lewis's and the rest of the, you know, great Miami players, the Ted Hendricks, and, you know, I'm leaving so many guys out, but it's just such an honor. Um, I'd like to thank my parents for what they've done throughout my career and helping me and giving me gas money to drive down to uh, Miami when I didn't have any money and, you know, driving home, driving back home and cooking dinners for me and, I wouldn't know what Miami was if it wasn't for you guys. You used to save up your money to take me and my sister Shannon on vacations, and we used to drive down to Florida every year, and we used to stay at the Marriott down there, and I got just such great memories of that, and I remember buying a Bernard Clark jersey and a Craig Erickson jersey, and I used to, I'd go back to Philadelphia, and uh, everybody in my neighborhood was Notre Dame fans and Penn State fans, and they all used to look at my jerseys and be like, what are you wearing that for? And I used to say, I, I love Miami, and I don't know why I loved them, but I, but I loved them. And, you know, I used to actually get in fist fights over it because Miami always played Notre Dame, and I, by the way, I hate Notre Dame. Yeah. I hate Notre Dame. <laughs> Coach Golden, I know we're going to be playing them soon. We got, we got to take care of them. We got to take care of them. But again, thank you, Mom and Dad, for you know, being great parents and, and helping me from my childhood until uh, obviously now, and just being great parents for, and, and helping me through everything, my trials and tribulations throughout my career. Um, I'd also like to thank my wife and my kids for being here, Ashley, Brady, Lexi, and Callie. Uh, I love you guys more than anything, and uh, you know, life wouldn't be the same without you now that I have kids. Uh, you know, it's the best thing, and hopefully one day you guys can, uh, you know, go to Miami or Brady. You can wear the orange or green and play some uh, football for the U. But I love you guys. You mean more than, more than anything to me. Um, I'd also like to thank, I got a long list of people. Uh, Coach Mark, he recruited me coming out of Taravilla High School, uh, a white running back. That was, that was pretty fast, and I think Coach Mark, uh, you know, noticed some talent. I remember him coming to a Deerfield Beach game, and uh, my dad was there, and that's the first time I felt like Miami was pretty interested in me. And, uh, you know, Coach Mark, he, he called me, I think, maybe a couple days later, and, you know, they offered me a scholarship. And of all places, I, uh, I chose to uh, commit to Georgia Tech, of all places. Georgia O'Leary was in my living room, and he kind of caught me off guard. He said, so are you committing here, son? And I said, uh, uh, yeah. You know, I was, I was a young kid, so I don't know why I committed, but I did. I think the next day I decommitted, and I committed to Miami. I always knew I wanted to go there, but thank God I didn't go to Georgia Tech, because I hate Georgia Tech, too. Um, you know, Butch Davis, uh, he played such an instrumental role in my career. Uh, great guy. Um, unbelievable coach and, and a heck of a recruiter and, and even a better person. I got a lot of love for Butch. He, uh, he means a lot to me. I remember walking out onto the football field and uh, I was a running back and I'm sitting in the backfield and Edron James is there, Najee Davenport, Daryl McMillan. I'm like, Jesus, when, the, when am I going to play? My senior year? 
So uh, Butch Davis, I go out, I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing a white jersey, and he switches me to an orange jersey. He says, son, we're going to move you to linebacker. And I think about three weeks later, I, I was starting. And uh, I think it's the best move, obviously, I ever made. And I got to thank Butch Davis a lot for that. Um, Vernon Hargraves, he was my linebacker coach. And Randy Shannon, he was my linebacker coach my true freshman year. I thank them a lot for teaching me a lot through my career. And I got a lot of, a lot of love for those two guys, regardless of what I say in the media about Randy Shannon. I love Randy Shannon, and he's a, he's a great friend of mine. Um, Greg Schiano, I, I thank him a lot for uh, teaching me a lot. I used to wake up at 6 in the morning, go into his office, and, and watch film with him. He used to have me stand in front of the projector, and I used to do my footwork in front of the projector at 6 o'clock in the morning. I was dead tired, but you know what they always say, hard work pays off. So I got to thank Coach Schiano a lot for, uh, for bringing me along. Um, my, my former UM teammates, obviously I couldn't have done this without you. The ride was incredible. Uh, had a lot of fun with them guys. Um, my, my defensive lineman, Damian Lewis, we actually live in the same neighborhood in North Carolina. We're still close. We still have a brotherhood. And actually, John Beeson just moved in, into my neighborhood too. So if any of you guys want to buy a house in my neighborhood, <laughs> just let me know. Um, Coach Golden, I would just want to say best of luck to you. We're 100% behind you. We, we we're so glad you're here uh, to instill that uh, fierce attitude back into Miami. And uh, we're just real happy to have you, and we wish you the best of luck uh, throughout your coaching career here. Um, I left out uh, Bill Miller. He was a, a defensive coordinator when I first got here. He was also a great coach and uh, just another guy. I wanted to just another guy to the piece of the puzzle to, uh, to to my story. And you know, I just want to tell him thanks also. Um, I don't think I'm leaving anybody out, but this is just such a great honor. And thanks everybody for coming. Thank my in-laws for coming. Uh, my sister-in-law for coming. It's definitely great to have everybody here and share this moment with you. Uh, I'm just ready to have a good time after this and, and spend some more time with you guys. Thanks, everybody. Congratulations.